This video of a ride on part of New York's Hudson River Greenway was shot on chilly December 5, 2008 during a field trip to explore New York bikeways. Participants were John Schubert, John Allen, that's me, John Ciccarelli, and Steve Faust. I was shooting video with a helmet-mounted camera. We started by crossing 11th Avenue at West 14th Street, then turned south. Most of the Greenway has parallel two-way paths. One which you see here for bicyclists and inline skaters and another for pedestrians. So this is not a multi-use path in the usual sense, although some pedestrians do use the bikeway as you can see. On the right here is an opening to the pedestrian path, though most such openings connect to crosswalks like where we entered the Greenway. We approach the sanitation department building. John Ciccarelli stops to take pictures. The flex posts used here probably could not cause severe injury on impact, although they could still take a bicyclist down. The next driveway, no garbage truck traffic at this hour, has near side and far side signals concurrent with those in the street. Steve and John catch a very stale yellow light. We're going to do the legal but goofy thing and make a U turn in the side street. Actually, it would be legal anywhere except in Manhattan. I forgot the no turn on red rule, which applies everywhere in New York City. Crosswalks to the pedestrian path are marked with warning bars, a nice touch. This is video of the same location just shown in John Ciccarelli's photo. Some street crossings have double crosswalks, and this one has bike racks. Again, this is the same location as in the photo. At Houston Street, there is a very large parking garage built out over the river, and access is across the path. The signal timing poses the risk of crossing and turning collisions. Current with the green on West Street. As we approach the financial district, a construction project cuts off access to the river, and the bicycle and pedestrian paths are combined. Again, same location as in the still photo. The river moves away from the greenway and it becomes a two-way side path adjacent to a busy street in the financial district. Now notice, I think the bike signal here is concurrent. Yep. And there's no prohibition on right turns. Yes, there is. Where? Right turn on red. On red. But no, but not on green. So when we get the green on the path, they get the green on the street. Yeah, there should be a leading interval. No leading interval. There should be. There's none. Catch this little encounter. Oh, man. It says cyclists must dismount and walk bikes. Why? I can get this intersection behind me a lot faster on my bike. What's that about? I realize now that the path and sidewalk are combined here, but separated by flex posts. Okay, now what? Steve is our guide on this trip. He lives in New York. Now this bicyclist running the red light is taking quite a risk. What the heck? And you want to watch out for the concurrent greens as well. Wait a minute, that bus make an illegal ride on red? It probably didn't. This intersection has flaggers and one probably waved it through. This is, this is the truck up your ass that doesn't, you know, that'll kill its mother. Steve would rather not ride on this street, a speedway walled in by Jersey barriers for construction. I will point to some alternatives other than the one we're about to see. Two-way side path, meet construction site. is I love New York, the appropriate statement at this time. We emerge. 
into another concurrent green. This is amazing. Bikers must dismount. How can this be called a bikeway if bicyclists are supposed to walk half a mile? More a gray way than a green way, but this little section is relatively wide open. We are going very slowly and Steve is ringing his bell. Of course, if little kids are running around in the middle of what's supposed to be a bikeway, that's a different story. Oh boy. Watch it, kids, please. Watch your kids. I may sound unkind, but I have these kids' interest at heart. Not all bicyclists are as careful as we are. Ahead of us is the World Trade Center site. The construction here follows from the terrible events that happened there. Oh, man. Gee. This is pillar to post. But what's the excuse for this little zigzag? Go ahead. This photo of the same location in 2005 shows a wider path, although pedestrians had to cross it from the driveway. Here's where my helmet camera ran out of juice. I have photos, though, of the remaining couple of blocks down to Battery Park at the tip of Manhattan. Here we're looking back at the same building. Looking forward again, we pass under a skywalk along a block where the path looked like this in 2005 with some nice landscaping to provide a site obstruction on the corner. Here's how it looked in 2008, again separated from pedestrians but with no mid-block access, and we arrive at the battery. With the construction, the Greenway couldn't follow the river. That would have been more scenic, and there are quieter streets to the west as well. As of 2011, there is an alternate route along the river, as this nycgreenways.com map shows. Steve Faust reports that it has pinch points, but it certainly is scenic.